School conditions like this at Spain Elementary prompted Detroit public school teachers to call a sick out several days this week. 64 or roughly two-thirds of the city's public schools were closed Monday, leaving thousands of students out of the classroom, sparking Michigan's Division of the Occupational Safety and Health Administration to launch an investigation into Spain Elementary School. This is our gym wing. We have been told that this portion of the building is off limits to us as of two months ago. Our pool has been empty like this for about six years. We've now been banned from our own playground. No gym and now no playground. 20 minutes away at Frank Cody High School, Principal Latoya Hall King told the national president of the American Teachers Federation, who flew in from Washington for the meeting, conditions at the school are intolerable. From a rodent infestation to girls' bathroom stalls having no doors. The technology classroom without access to the internet. I see a lot of bad situations. Um, this ranks about some of the worst. Additionally, water leaks at the school, fixed but never sealed. I've been in this building about 40 minutes now, and I am hoarse. I wasn't hoarse when I walked in. Are you concerned about that for the children? Absolutely. There's clearly environmental issues when you have leaks in buildings, when you have carpeting that has been leaked upon. Darnell Early, appointed one year ago by the governor to head emergency management for the district, says not all of Detroit's 97 public schools have these issues. And with an accumulated debt of $515 million, they have to make tough decisions on what schools get what improvements first. Financially, we don't have the capacity. And decisions have been made uh, for years uh, about how best to use those dwindling resources. You have to really uh, use a, 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 a kind of a, a crystal ball to decide what's the best way to spend these few dollars. At this Detroit Parent Network Forum Thursday night, teachers got support across the board, but not everyone agreed on the tactic of the sick out. I believe it's a bad thing for the children. I believe that their education, you know, should have really been really considered and thought about. Although the community is divided on what to do about very real challenges, and until the district can get money, the students will continue to bear the burden. What I worry about is losing, losing, losing the teachers and also closing down the schools.